Hello and welcome to Math for Fun. And here is something interesting. The solve operator. The solve operator, it can solve the equation for you. Either it was linear, quadratic, it can solve exponential equation, it will solve logarithmic equation, trigonometric equation, it can solve any kind of equations for you. But you have to take care about the solutions. Let me show you what problem we had before. And probably it exists also still with some teachers and students because I searched online a lot to find it. I couldn't find it but i found the way how to get the two solutions of the equation if the equation provides two solutions let me show you what i found now we have absolute value x equal to four you know that when we have absolute value equation sometimes it gives you one answer sometimes it gives you two answers like in this case absolute x equal to four so x is equal to minus four or x equal to four now how do we write that we go for absolute value so we write shift abs which is inside the ABS and we put X and we go for right side. Don't use this equal sign. We need to use the red one here. So we go for alpha equal and we put four. Now here is the equation written. Now, if you go for shift solve, which is shift calc, I want the solve inside here. So we press shift calc. The calculator gives you a number. That number, it was in previous calculation I have done but this number is very important why it's very important because if you write let's say zero it will give you what equal equal it will give you four and this is what all students are getting what I found here is if you put the number let's go back and we put shift calc if you put a number which is closer to the right solution here it will give you the right solution if you put here a number which is closer to the left solution, it will give you the left solution here. Let me show you. If I put minus 2 here and I press equal and equal, it will give me the minus 4 solution, which is the left one. I put them one on the left, on the right, because this is negative and this is positive. Now let's go back. If I write shift calc, which is the solve, and I put, let's say, 2, which is closer to the right one, and press equal and equal it gives me the right solution which is the four the positive one so now to avoid not getting the two solutions because look at that if you press shift calc and you put one is going to give you equal equal is going to give you four let's go back if you press shift calc and you put two and you press equal equal is going to give you the four why because you're giving the number closer to the right solution so to avoid this and to get the other solution my suggestion is to go back and put a number which is let's say bigger in negative let's say minus 50 let's say shift calc and put say minus 10 or minus 20 that's minus 10 which is going to be closer to the left solution so you get equal, equal, it will give you the left solution. It doesn't have to be negative, but it would be the left solution. And for the right side, put shift calc and put 10 or 20 or 30 or 100 and press equal and equal. It will give you the right solution. Let me show you this in another example. Let's say we have x squared equal to 4. Obviously, you can solve this by the quadratic equation option on the calculator, by the mode A. You can go for equations, which is A. Either you choose A in the red letter, or you can go for the A here, go for that option, equations, press equal, which is the polynomial, which is 2, and degree, I have degree 2. You can go for degree 2, and you can put, let's say, I have 1 here, so we put 1, equal, and I have 0 for the x because I don't have x here. So we put 0 equal. And let's get the 4 to the other side. You know, 4 to the other side becomes minus 4. So you put minus 4 and you press equal and equal. So the first one is 2 and the second one is minus 2. So I have two solutions, minus 2 and 2. Let me do that using the menu 1 so that the normal calculation. I will use the shift solve. So x squared equal to 4, let's write x to the power 2 equals, we use this equal sign, alpha equal, and we write 4, and we use shift calc, which is the solve. Now, as I mentioned, if you put a number which is closer to the 2, it's going to give you the 2. If I put a number closer to the negative 2, it's going to give you the negative 2 answer here. 
So let's put a number closer to the negative 2. That's why I mentioned in the previous question, choose a number which is big in negative. So if we put minus, let's say, 20 in the negative, and I press equal, equal is going to give you the negative 2 solution. You see here? And let's go back, and we do shift solve again, like shift calc, and let's do another one which is big in the positive side, and we press equal, equal is going to give you the right solution. So remember, when you solve equation and you know in advance that the equation is going to give you two solutions, do both trials. Like try number in negative here when you do shift calc, try number in negative, let's say minus 10 or minus 50, okay, and do it, equal, equal, and try one in the positive to check if there is another solution because sometimes the equation provides two solutions. Here we have radical equation, let's say radical x minus 2 equal to 4. Also, you can do it on the calculator with the solve operator here, the solve, shift solve. So let's try the equation, radical x minus 2, and we go outside radical, we press alpha, equal, and we press 4, and we do shift, calc. Now, for the radical equation, like, do you think that you're going to get, let's say, two solutions? Let's try one in negative, one in positive, and check. If we got the same answer, it means that the equation has only one solution. Let's try, let's say, minus 10, and press equal, equal, and you get 18. Let's go back, and we press shift, solve, and we put, let's say, now 10 in the positive side, press equal, equal, so you get also 18, which means that this equation has only one solution because I tried the left and I tried the right side. I got the same answer 18. So the solution is 18 and it has one solution. Let's try another example. Here we have exponential equation. To write the exponential equation, remember that E is here in the red color. So to write it, let's clear. So we put 2 alpha E to the power of X. We put power of x and we go down minus 3 alpha equal and we add 4 and now we do shift calc which is shift solve now write let's say minus 10 and press equal equal you will get 1.25 let's go back and we do shift calc and we choose now 10 and we press equal equal 1.25 which is the same solution so we have only one solution for this equation, which is 1.2527, and so on. Let's do another one. Also, you can solve logarithmic equation, which is log with base. So if you want to solve that, let's clear the screen. So we write log x with base 2. Where do we have the log x with base? This is the key for log with base. So we click log and base 2. So we write 2, and we go up, and we put x, and we go outside, and we put alpha equal, and we add 4, and we go for shift calc, and we put, let's say, 0, 1, whatever you want, equal, equal one more time, you get 16. So with respect to this, you get one solution, because logarithmic equation in this shape, it provides only one solution. Also, we can do similar example about 2 ln x plus 2 equal to 2. So the ln, let me show you where do you write the ln. Here is the ln key. So we have 2 ln x plus 2, so we have 2 ln variable x, we close the parenthesis, plus 2 alpha equal, and we have 2 here, and we do shift calc, and we press, even if you leave the 16 here, or you change it to 1, it's not going to make any change, so you get x equal to 1. Let's save this time for the video, and go for the most important idea that you will find here. Look. Here we have trigonometric equation, sine, cosine, tangent, all of the ideas. Now also you can solve it in this calculator, fx991 ex. How do we solve that? Let's say sine x equal to 0 0.5. What is 0 0.5 here? It's here, 0 0.5. So what is the angle when you do sine for it? It's equal to 0 0.5. That's 0 0.5 here. You see that the angle is 30. So x equal to 30 is one of the angles. It's only one choice. We need the other choice. Now, in trigonometry, if you solve trigonometric equations, you know that when you solve sine uh, equation, you write x equal to the angle, and you write x equal to 180 minus the angle also. So that's other choice. Also, 
usually we add plus 360k to get all the solutions and here we add plus 360k but here we are working only with the angle which is between 0 and 360 we're not going to find all answers we only find the c2 answers okay now how can we find x you were usually doing that by calculator by shift sign 0 0.5 you can get x you can get 30. let me show you how now here if you write shift sign 0 0.5 close parenthesis and write equal you're going to get this 30 angle only one solution now how can we get all the solutions okay let's go for the equation which is shift solve let's write the sine x equals 0 0.5 let's write sine x close parenthesis alpha equal 0 0.5 now we go for shift calc okay if we put zero here or one and press equal, equal is going to give you 30. Where is the other solution? Do you remember what we mentioned in the previous questions? In the x squared and in the absolute x? Good. Let me explain it for you here. You know that we said x equal to 30, like if we solve it manually, and we have x equal to 180 minus 30, which is 150. So the solutions for this equation would be in quadrant 1, which is angle 30, and angle 150 which is in quadrant number two so also the other solutions is going to be plus 360 which is 30 plus 360 because we added 360k if you remember i mentioned for the other solutions we add 360k which is 30 plus 360 which is 390 if you do sine 390 it's going to give you 0 0.5 the same answer here so now how do we get the solutions remember i mentioned here we have the solution is going to be in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2. So what do we do for the calculator? We go for the calculator, go back, and give the calculator an option, like press shift, calc. Don't give 30. Give an angle which is in quadrant number 2. Any angle, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, any angle in quadrant number 2. Let's say 110. We put 110 is going to be closer to the second solution not the first solution so press equal equal is going to give you the other choice which is 180 minus 30 boom which is 150 okay so now if you are getting another solution let's say above 360 go back and let's say shift calc which is solve give it an angle let's say in quadrant number one but which is above 360 let's go for 370 that's three 70 and press equal and equal is going to give you the 390 which is 360 plus 30 which is 390 so it's going to give you the other answer so if you want all the solutions let's say between 0 and 360 not only one solution which is 30 type the equation as it is make shift solve and let's say the first choice put let's say 10 which is in quadrant number one press equal equal it will give you the first choice go back and press shift calc and give a choice which is in quadrant number two let's say 100 110 120 that's 100 press equal and equal sign you will get the second solution which is in quadrant number two and here you can find all the solutions not only one solution and here i can say that we approach the end of the video if you like the video don't forget to like and share and welcome to math for fun and bye for now